Hello, good morning. This is teacher Jacob, and this video is for sixth grade. And the class for today it's, it's about the project that you need to do. Okay, so let's go. Let's go first. Uh, let's start with the beginning and let's go to the uh. You know, the English class. Remember, uh, at the end of the unit, we need to uh, study a project. So remember, our Janice School, our Janice School countryside, the best way for learning English. And this video is for sixth grade. And the class for today is about grammar. Okay? So don't forget to the or grammar. I'm sorry, the project. Uh, it's 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 necessary that you understand that every unit we need to finish a project, and the project, in other words, are similar to uh, homework. So if you do the uh, project, you are doing the homework. Okay. So keep in mind that. You do this is the same, is similar to your homework. All right. I, I want to see you keep in mind that. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to um, let's go to the project. Yeah. So let's go here. Um, is the project that we are gonna do? All right. So pay attention. So notice this, what you need to do, in other words, is to creating a tourist map. So how is it going? In, in your case, you can choose a place. I mean, you, even if you want to uh, make a map of a Calera map, it's perfect. A Calera tour is a tourist place, it is. A lot of people visit La Calera, especially uh, cyclist people, people uh, who ride bicycle. They love to go there. I love to go there to La Calera and, and eat uh, a special breakfast, special, uh, like in a special, well, in English, it doesn't have the meaning of, say, uh, agua de panela. We don't have in English. I can translate a little bit, but it's something like a sugar, sugar water, and it's hot, and cheese, and it's on a special bread. It is called here almohawana. It is delicious. So sometimes chocolate, uh, chocolate is delicious too. So you can do. I mean, you have two options. One is to create a tourist map about La Calera. So tell me the places that a tourist man can go and visit, okay? So keep in mind that. So discuss these questions. What is your favorite place to visit in Colombia or in Bogota? So answer the questions. For example, uh, for me, uh, the best place to visit in bicycle is patio. So, I mean, I love it. And also La Calera, okay. And what do you like doing when you travel? Okay, um, well, when I have the chance to travel, I love to walk, uh, do a sport, uh, swim. Definitely, I love to swim. So I like swimming, I like running, I like, uh, uh ride, riding bicycle I, I love it so that's what i need so you need to answer the questions here question one and question two here now look at this this is the project that you need to do now look at the tourist map and think if you would like to visit this place say what is interesting about this place so imagine you are going to visit this place so where would you like to go? In my case, teacher Jacob, I would like to go to the swimming pool 
uh, a zoo where I can see the animals, uh, where else? Uh, the park, running in the park, or perhaps here, uh, buying some ice cream, uh, what else? And, uh, and uh, relaxing here, perhaps, you know, or, or, yes, visiting this part, this kind of musician, okay? So, uh, according to this, that's what you all hear. I love it to, to be here and swim near the big, the sand and the, oh, okay, and near the sea and swim and uh, get born also. Okay. So now, notice this. These are statements, like a phrases. So you need to write the numbers. For example, write numbers of these places beside the information you see you can eat all kind of food here from the local dishes to international favorite dishes so you have to look at the map where is the map and you say okay here in the restaurant perhaps so perhaps so you can say okay um shopping district is possible as possible and let me uh, look at okay because look at this on page uh, 8 and 89 so you're gonna see more you see a uh, map so you need to know where you can eat so you need to write the number number eight so number eight you're going to write at the first Phrase. So here you write eight. B. A reading group meets here every Wednesday. Every visitors are very welcome. So it means is referring to the library. So where is the library? City. So here is the library. So library. So number four, you're going to write here number four. You see? Let's go three. There are more than 50 stores in this area with all the big brands. So it's shopping district. Shopping is where you can go and buy. So shopping number two. So you write number two. Uh, for it here, it's very, it's white sand and great waves make soft surfers paradise so it refers to the beach so number five number five you write here five okay don't forget to write five here if you like sports this is the place for you there is a modern sport there and five kilometers of cycling track so it is a place where you can do a sport. So let me see where you can go here. A sport field. So you write the sport field number six here in this part. So in sport. Now here, this is a popular place to stay for families with your children. This is a popular place to be to stay with family. So this is like, um, uh, uh, let me see. So we have a Palace Hotel. Yes, yeah, it's possible. Or we have Green Park. No, not really. So we have Palace Hotel. It's, it's definitely is the hotel where you can be here. This is a popular place to stay. Okay. Now, come here to have a picnic or just relax on the grass you know have picnic and have and have grass so green park here in the green park you can have picnic okay and that's all that's what you need to do and finally this it is a great for serious swimmers and beginners definitely is number two so uh, number seven so number seven you write here number seven and here and Come here to have picnic. It's, it's about Green Park. Is number three. All right. 
So Adelaide, working groups, use the questions to Adelaide. Okay, so how are you going to do this? Prepare, so preparing groups you're going to create. You have to erase map on place that you know. So definitely what you need to do is to create a map. Attention in Spanish to be more clear. Uh, vamos a hacer de proyecto un mapa turístico. Entonces, eh, podemos dibujarlo, no necesariamente eh, colocar las fotos. Si quieren colocar fotos, lo pueden hacer, pero también es importante. Por ejemplo, voy a buscar algunos lugares bonitos de, de Bogotá. Entonces, Montserrat, qué sé yo, La Candelaria. El Parque Simón Bolívar, eh, algunos shopping centers, definitivamente eh, la, el, el Centro Comercial eh, eh, Plaza, uh, well, I don't remember exact, Plaza La, bueno, hay varios, Titán Plaza, por ejemplo, hay muchos, entonces, o, o reúno varios, el aeropuerto, entonces, eh, hago un mapa donde estén todos esos sitios turísticos de Bogotá. Eh, los dibujo, coloco el nombre en inglés, airport, por ejemplo, shopping center, el, el centro comercial, eh, Montserrat, ok, Montserrat Church, Montserrat, la iglesia de Montserrat, Montserrat Church, and so on. Después de eso, tengo que hacer como una descripción de qué es cada lugar. Entonces, por ejemplo, Simón Bolívar Park, el parque Simón Bolívar. It is a big Park es un parque grande. ¿Qué podemos hacer? Entonces, we can do o we can visit and do a sport. Podemos visitarlo y hacer deporte. Do a sports. ¿Qué deportes? Entonces podemos decir que we can uh, surf. Sí, se puede surfear. Surf. Uh, we can run, ride bicycle, play soccer. Sí, yo he visto algunos que juegan fútbol. Eh, concerts, hay unos conciertos, entonces todo lo que se puede hacer en ese lugar lo vamos a escribir en inglés, right? No sé si eh, cuántos lugares vamos a colocar, aquí nos dicen siete, vamos a colocar siete lugares interesantes, entonces si voy a dibujar la calera, entonces eh, dibujo un lugar, entonces está es la calera, el mapa de la calera donde van a ir a visitar, tenemos la represa, entonces ¿qué se ve en la represa? A que podemos estar con la naturaleza, caminar. En otro que podemos ir a montar caballos, entre la caballería. En otros podemos ir a desayunar, entonces podemos ir a desayunar. En otro que podemos ir a un concierto de música clásica. Eh, podemos ir a jugar al estadio de la calera. Entonces, ubicamos los lugares más in importantes, describimos para dónde es o cómo es. Entonces, aquí es el estadio de la calera. This is the stadium of la calera o Caleras Stadium, and where you can play soccer, donde puedes jugar fútbol. Ok, es free, es libre. Muy bien, entonces, de acuerdo a eso, pues eso es todo lo que hay que hacer. Look, here hay que um, hacer, pues aquí, edit uh, 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 your work, entonces, uh, trate de, uno, Describir de cómo es el lugar. How is it? ¿Cómo es? Entonces, es grande, es pequeño, es para qué deportes. Entonces, ¿qué se puede hacer en ese lugar? Entonces, you can go and buy, do a sports, you can eat, puedes comprar, go shopping, puedes ir a, a comprar. Todo. Hay que hacer escribir oraciones. You can go shopping. There is, hay, hay tantas cosas. Lo que quieras escribir. There is, there are, can, poder y no poder. Eh, sport, don sport, ¿listo? Proyecto general, hacer un mapa, uh, un mapa uh, turístico y uno, describir cada lugar. Por ejemplo, aquí escribimos un número, son ocho, perdón, son ocho eh, lugares donde vamos a visitar, un restaurante, entonces, ¿Qué se hace en un restaurante? En el restaurante podemos comer eh, lo que nosotros queramos, en eh, desayuno. Entonces, in the restaurant, you can eat a uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Muy bien. So, uh, hotel. Entonces, hay un hotel. We can stay for days in family, como nosotros queramos, ¿ok? And uh, library, por ejemplo, en Bogotá hay muchas librerías y creo que en la Calera también. Okay, 
interesting, interesante escribirla y grabar el mapa turístico de un lugar que ustedes quieran.